general science practice test question for the ASVAB and PICAT says, radiocarbon dating is done by estimating A, the amount of ordinary carbon still present, B, the amount of radiocarbon still present, C, the ratio of the amount of carbon-14 and carbon-12 still present, D, the ratio of the amount of carbon-12 and oxygen still present. So, uh, as it stands, living organisms continuously exchange carbon with their environment, so their ratio of carbon-14 to carbon-12 is relatively constant. That said, when an organism dies, the uptake of new carbon ceases. Therefore, uh, carbon-12 remains constant, but carbon-14, which is radioactive, starts to decay. So in order to date something using radiocarbon dating, what you're doing is you're comparing the ratio of the amount of carbon-14, which decays radioactively, uh, to carbon-12, which is constant. And the bigger that ratio is, the older the specimen is. So the correct answer to this one, the ratio of the amount of carbon-14 and carbon-12 still present.